moved about this world of ours, and ever in search of the finest of its kind, we bring you the tops in Spine Chillers. The Creaking Door. The manufacturers of State Express 3-5's Filter King cigarettes take pleasure in presenting... Just coming out of the fog. 
One of those treasure liners. I watched the passengers come off. Without a care in the world. Among them was Tom Reed. Dressed to kill. My eyes kept wandering over to him. The thought kept jabbing at me. That there was a man I could be if I played my cards right. We were about the same age and build. Except that Reed was a little pale around his lips. All Reed had on me was a bank roll. The car rolled up. And Reed went to it. And I went after him. What scheme I had in my mind, I'm not clear on anymore. It might have been the ring on his middle finger. Or the pounds he flashed when he tipped the kid and brought the car. Or maybe I was just going to catch a needle. Anyhow, there I was over the car, staring at him. Tongue Yes? Is there something about? Yeah. <laughs> Driving north? Hitchhiking. Yeah. Oh, hop in. I'm Reed. My name's Jim Miller. How far are you going? Oh, as far as I can. But no destination. No. How far are you going? About 200 miles. White Oaks. Ever heard of White Oaks? No. <laughs> it's the show place of the Cornish coast. And what's it now? <laughs> a mausoleum. I'm the last of the reeds of White Oaks. Are you bragging? Mm, I suppose there is something indecent about too much money. Have you got too much money? A hundred thousand in three days' time. But why in three days? My inheritance comes to you then. Well, how do you collect? Does a cashier pile the money up in front of you? <laughs> no, a blind aunt who you haven't seen for years taps his cane along the floor towards a safe that's been in the family for generations and opens it. <laughs> and hands you a hundred thousand? Just like that? <laughs> Just like that. My father never trusted banks. I turned the figure over in my mind. A hundred thousand. One oh six three one seven. It was 6,317 child minor, but close enough to write off the debt owed me. I saw Reed looking queerly at me out of the corner of his eye. Tempted, Miller. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Pose as me for three days, then go off with all that money. Blind Uncle Walter will never detect the masquerade. That's what you're telling yourself, aren't you? And, uh, where are you all the time I'm posing? Easy. You've murdered me. You're putting ideas into my head. I'm reading your thoughts. You're a cool duck. And you're an open book, Miller. If I'd have any idea like that, Reed's openness put the kibosh on it. You can't lay hands on someone who talks on your level. I even got to like it. A little. We chewed up about a hundred miles. And I caught that funny look crossing Reed's face again. I watched the end clasp over his heart. Reed seemed to sag, and the car began to circle wildly. I grabbed the wheel in the nick of time. Who was dropped the moonlight? I pulled to the side and shut the motor. What's it, you read? It's my heart. How bad is it? Uh, the doctor gave it a year. I've been shortchanged by two weeks. Get me to a doctor. He sounded like he only had minutes. Uh, get me to a doctor, Miller. I stalled. There was a little man counting off 100,000 in my mind, slowly, by ones. Reed's eyes were on me. They were dying eyes. But I caught a twinkle, as if he were amused over something. <laughs> Here's your chance, Miller. Just sit it out under the stars. Forget the doctor. Now, what I like about you is your sense of humor. I'm taking you to a doctor. Thanks, fool. But don't bother. It's, it's too late. Reed. Bury me somewhere. That's Jim Miller. You'll be Tom Reed for those three days. You're inviting me to? It's destiny, perhaps. Perhaps you didn't just happen to come along. <laughs> it was too 
too late to play Boy Scout and race for the Doctor. Reed was dead. I sat around a while thinking over what to do. But there was nothing to think over. My mind had been made up for me a long time before Reed happened along. I told myself that Reed's dying remark practically made me his heir. But I didn't have to tell myself anything. The little blind man he talked about was already counting 100,000 in my head. 100,000 pound notes. I found a lake about five miles up the side road. Not a house or a human anywhere. I swapped clothes with Reed, weighed his pockets with stones, then said goodbye and let him slip. I ran for the car and headed for White Oaks. Reed's wallet pushing against me as I drove. It was a down payment on the 100,000. I got to White Oaks. The storm raged. The house was high on a hill. It looked forbidding. Everything about it seemed to say, keep out. Making an entry was easy. Easy, did I say? Every ghost story I'd heard as a kid played with my spine. If the outside had given me the release, the interior put the icy frosting on it. There were shadows from kerosene lamps doing a jig on the walls. Not a soul in sight. Where was the blind uncle? Anybody home? an echo hanging in the air. And then I heard a tapping coming at me out of the shadows. Uncle Walter came towards me, feeling his way with the cane. An old guy with more wrinkles than face. His hand reached for me. I could feel my flesh crawling. John? Hello? Uncle Walter? Give me your hand and help you. Of course. It's been so long since I felt the warmth of a reed hat. Your cablegram from the bird was a surprise. Was it? I thought you would not leave on a Lulu if you wouldn't risk a trip. Why not? Uh, um, my heart. Oh, my poor job. <laughs> uh, perhaps I'll outlive the doctors. Your voice, it's, it's changed. Uh, for the better? It's deeper. I'll blame it on the on a little climate. Even your speech. What about that? It lacks uh, the, the reed refinement. I'll blame that on, on a little English. They make a professor talk like a customer in six months. Well, it's been a, a long time, Uncle. Yes, it's been a long time. I'd like to retire. I'm tired. Oh, of course, you'll want to be rested tomorrow for your cousin Margaret's arrival. Margaret? She's coming tomorrow? Yes. How is Margaret? Oh, she's grown into a fine woman. She'll make you a good wife, Doc. When do the wedding bells ring out? The day you take your inheritance. As your father wished it. You're displeased, Tom? No, it's just that I never understood why my father made marrying a condition. The, the way I am. One jump ahead of the undertaker. Margaret's the daughter of an old school friend your father knew out east. You and Margaret were playmates as children, and your father wanted someone close to have his money after you. This letter here is from Margaret's. Came the other day. If you'd care to read it. Oh, thank you, I'll read it in bed. Uh, well, good night, nephew. Good night, Uncle Walter. Get three fives. Get the taste. Three fives by State Express. Get the taste of international success. The taste that's uniquely three fives. Only when no expense is spared in its making can a cigarette taste so right, so smooth, so satisfying. Three fives. Get the taste. The taste that State Express created for you.
The taste that has made Three Fives the king-size cigarette of international success. Get Three Fives. Get the taste. Too bad. And I'm on the right road to White Oaks. You 
wouldn't be Margaret. Yes. I'm Margaret. Well, I'm Tom Reed. You're Tom. Disappointed? Uh, don't mind my staring. I always stare. She wasn't just staring. She was accusing me with her eyes. Perhaps she knew I wasn't Tom Reed. Perhaps she hadn't seen Reed since childhood, but maybe there'd been an exchange of photographs. I couldn't let her run blabbing to White Oaks. After Brand, I was up to my neck in it. There was no turning back anymore. Aren't you going to show me the way, Tom? The way you keep staring? Why? Just bad manners. But you're still staring. I'm...
as if he could see it. As if he had perfect vision. international success, the taste that's uniquely free fives. Only when no expense is spared in its making can a cigarette taste so right, so smooth, so satisfying. Three fives, get the taste. The taste that State Express created for you. The taste that has made three fives the king-size cigarette of international success. Get three fives. Get the taste. This is your host back again. Just a reminder of our rendezvous next week. Where are we going? Manufacturers of State Express 3 Fives Filter King cigarettes invite you to listen next Saturday at 9 o'clock when they will again present 